But what are the plans maybe for next year? Uh, uh, maybe we can see a proper tour of, of, of the monkeys, maybe for 2023, uh, maybe an, an, an album. I don't know what, if, if you have some plans. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just take a break. <laughs> we got the, we got the moon band, and the yeah. album and the big thing. It's great to see you again. And you, man. Yeah, I'm doing great. You Your hair has grown, mine has gone. Uh, There's a new album, <laughs> 10 songs, yeah. 45 minutes, a very cohesive album with a kind of cinematic sound from the mystery chords of, of Mirrorball through uh, the strings at, 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 at the end and all that stuff. So, uh, how do you come up with all these characters and stories and uh, shape this new album? Wow, what, a, what an introduction. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. I just didn't, I didn't want that to end. <laughs> to be quite honest. Yeah. I'm still I, I, can, I can still <laughs> talk. <laughs> you, you might, might be more useful than the answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, would, it, it would be anything that I'm about to say. <laughs> no, but, no, 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 and, I'm, and I mean it, I mean, there's kind of a, uh, I don't know if, if you imagine that, uh, uh, but it, it feels like a movie or kind of yeah, I a could, story. I, I would accept that, certainly, yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a, in the sound of the record, certainly. I don't know if that was a decision we made in the initial meeting about the record, uh, but yeah. it just, it seems like naturally that's, that's where it went. I think probably this, this having the string section in there that's a bit contributes of to that, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, pure drama there, really. And that, um, it felt like that was appropriate with these songs. It felt like there was sufficient space to attempt to, you know, include some, some of those instruments that we haven't done before. Yeah. You know, unless you can. Baby, I'm yours, of course. Mm. But and how's that insatiable? That will take off maybe where Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino uh, left us, but a lot of things have happened in, this, in, in these years. And I understand that also for you was kind of problematic going back to, to, to the UK to, to begin to record the album together. Yeah. And how, how was that process that's going, going on back? Uh, and, and how, I, I'm not sure if that uh, shaped uh, the, 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 the final uh, album or, or, or the ideas. I mean, I can imagine that it has been a kind of difficult process. Yeah, let me probably give more time than we were expecting to, um, to like, from start of the process to actually recording it was probably longer than what we expected, but I don't necessarily think that was a bad thing in hindsight. We had more time to like, like, I don't know, refine what we wanted to do. And then by the time we get to record it, we probably had like, it was all sort of planned by then. Yeah. The idea of what we were gonna do was there. And, and when you went back, I mean, it was like a special moment in, in, in England. It was the yeah. Euro. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, the, the, uh, I mean from, from the Mexican city, Mexico City yeah, standpoint, yeah. point, it was like the people was, that, like, like the UK was like, ah. Yeah. And I feel that kind of energy going back after a couple of years in lockdown and on the other side of the world. Yeah. Uh, it can feel kind of energetic as well. Yeah, I, I mean, I, because I was here and needed to get back there to do the record. And, all the, everything about that, like us being back together and the Euros was, it made it like, that was kind of like going alongside us making the record was this other stuff we had to enjoy as well. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was really fun, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was sad when it came to the end of the session, to be honest. It was, uh, it seems like a long time since we'd made a record in the summer as well. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Possibly even, you know, since, has that, has that ever happened? I don't know, Apart from the, First one. So do you wanna walk me to the car? Well, I mean, it, 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 it's kind of obvious, and that maybe I'm reading between the lines, but uh, the car is commonplace through the lyrics. I mean, it appears like in a five or six songs. Yeah. I mean, it's obvious that the album is, is named The Car, but 
I want to I, I want to ask about uh, uh, about that common place in, in specific. Yeah. Well, I think to be truthful, I noticed that I mentioned it three or four times in the song, and so it's I had the choice at that point either to change three of them or just call the thing the car. And then, of course, when we found Matthew's uh, image for the yeah. cover, it just seemed like, well, then now it's certainly got to be the car. Yeah. yeah, and and uh, also uh, I want to ask about the the, the photo from the cover. Mm -hmm. uh, it was taken in downtown LA. I, yeah. I understand, and it, it's a Corolla. The the, the, the car. I, I think it's a Corolla. That seems to be what the internet thinks as well. There's been a small investigation into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> all the experts. I thought in my mind it's a yeah, it's a Corolla. Okay. <laughs> As I always say. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah. And uh, how, how, how the story well, behind? I mean, I don't know if, if I mean you you've been into photography like uh, the few years, uh, yeah. dedicated to that. Uh, I, I I don't know if can you uh, tell us this, the story behind that the day that you should that it, picture. I, it really mind? came about because I got um, I bought a 90 millimeter lens for my camera. And I, ju I just recently moved to this place. That that was the view out of my bedroom window. So I saw that like car park every day, and there was o it just always seemed like there was something interesting on happening, if there was like nothing there or like somebody there or that. But that, and it was usually only one car there for some reason. Um, and that one, and this was me like testing out this lens because it's it was an, an old one, but it's it does a different thing when you shoot from far away with that. It makes everything, all the perspective of everything, like squashed. And um, so I like walked around that day, and then I went in my bedroom and I did that picture. And I took a few of that same thing. Oh, but that was like, yeah. But that was the one that stood out. And, and did you share it with the band? And like, like yeah, I think I just sent it to Alex just as a, I got this lens, and it looks cool when you take pictures with it. It wasn't anything to do with, because we weren't really in that mode yet of even writing or recording anything. It was more just look at this photo I took. Yeah. I love the the, 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 the funky guitar and, and how it interacts on I inquired what uh, where mm -hmm. I am. Uh, what I think I am. Yeah. Uh, uh, how did you came up with that with that song and as well I mean that that, that funky guitar riff yeah. and as well how uh, it interacts with all the strings and I mean that contrast it, 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 it's amazing. I think really that probably was um, just f uh, finding again that effects pedal you know in the draw somewhere and like you know a big cloud of dust and before you know it You've got that lick. You you been into piano and, and, and the keyboards lately more than the guitar. Yeah, but I was like uh, definitely this. I think probably played more guitar on this record. I think than the last. Um, wrote a couple on guitar. Enjoyed the moment in the studio when we were doing body paint and kind of felt really that it wasn't expecting that song to get quite so distorted at the at the end um, and uh, I don't know I feel like that kind of surprised me a bit I, you know I wasn't expect, expecting to want to play like that uh, on there so yeah there's there's a bit of guitar in there here and there so you don't let the sun catch you crying. Uh, I, I recall you released uh, Tranquility Bass Hotel and Casino without a lead single. Now you're, you're uh, playing some shows without the, the album out. And I mean, you're doing some festivals, this year, just festivals this year, right? And uh, I think it, I, I really love that because in a way it helps you to recall all, all that songs and all the career uh, that, that, that has uh, cemented you as one of our most important bands of our generation and, and, and 
but at the same time when you're looking and when you're hearing are you mind or brainstorm or, or, or the look from the afternoon uh, it doesn't feel like it's about 20 years as a band I mean it, it, it's kind of tricky the, the, mm -hmm. the time and space to say that it feels like a couple of years ago and, and then when you go when you look back it's it's about like it's you're turning 20 years as a band yeah yeah <laughs> It is, it is uh, weird to think of it that way, because I think that when we play now, uh, <clears throat> some of the new, like playing the new song, and even like last time around playing new songs was it almost made more sense of some of the old ones as well, and it doesn't feel strange now to play like some songs from the first record within the set that we've been doing recently. It's not, it doesn't feel that crazy, yeah. like that it spans that much time. Yeah. And so, as long as you take a deep breath before you start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In my, uh, you know, from where I'm standing. Since Tranquility Base and, and, and with Mirrorball, a lot of people uh, said that maybe this new sound is not that kind of energetic or with all these rage that he, that he used to play and I, I want to ask about uh, specifically to you Matt because uh, I recall that that you used to, to, to take a box lessons in order to, to have more yeah. speed and more power and, and are, you, are you still boxing? I sh yeah I still do a little bit. Canelo style? Canelo style exactly. <laughs> Yeah, that's, love that's Canelo. Weekend. This weekend, yeah. this weekend in bed, I think you're probably there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are there, yeah. We are. No, but 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 I remember uh, Body Rich is is yeah. one of the of of, of the uh, main Rich. drummers that that you used to mention uh, yeah. years ago. And when I listen to 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 the car as complete album, I, I can think of another drummer maybe that that. that that, that comes to my mind. So I want to ask about that process for you, behind the drums and, and all these new tricks that I think for for from for the outside and maybe people that don't know music like myself that are, are not into that. Uh, yep. You see, like yeah, maybe that's easy, but it's it's very more complex. Yeah, no, it is, and I think now I just keep the rage inside. <laughs> um, <laughs> <Saturday> night. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's. Uh, it, it, like, I, it is something that to the naked eye might seem more simple, but it is much more difficult to do what we've been doing on these last records compared to... I mean, like early on it was also like playing to the best of our ability, and like that's as fast as I could go or as much as I could do. And I put so much like thought into trying to do something completely original. But you can only do that so many times as well with like drums before it just sounds silly. And then it was about just like doing, playing the best version of this thing for this song, and like how to be able to do that well is difficult, I think. Yeah. And like, it's not even like restrained because it's still fulfilling for me. Well, it's with with your voice range, a lot, a lot of songs, it's it's like kind of another uh, instrument feeling. It, it it takes you to another level. Yeah, I think I I noticed that it has changed over time um it's I, I suppose only yeah it's kind of incrementally she i i notice it uh, like I, like everything you know sort of similar to what matt was just saying it's just you, you gradually it evolves or it changes i i only notice it how much it's changed i suppose when kind of sometimes now on stage when we play some of the old songs it's yeah. like I, I enjoy it. Sometimes it's like yeah, that's when I really notice kind of the in a song to song shooter. Yeah. Strings. I mean, it, it's like a part of of uh, the evolution, I guess, of trying something new. Uh, and how, how was how was that 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 idea and that process? Uh, to, to record all that and, and again maybe I, I don't know if you if you're planning maybe to integrate it on on the tour in the some time. Yeah, uh, I don't think so for the moment. I, it doesn't seem to make sense to do that. But we 
certainly managed to convince ourselves that it was appropriate to put it on the record this time. Um, I think it started off probably with, a, with an idea in Mirabal and then, you know, I think there's some, yeah, it, it seemed, then when we looked for other places, it seemed like, there, you know, there was a, there was a chance to uh, maybe bring this string sound out sometimes and then have it step into out of focus again. I should have said into the background, I should, I should have picked either focus or that. Yeah. I, did, I tried to be both, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. <coughs> sorry. I don't feel as though it's kind of rock band with strings. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's not that kind of opera show. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. I hope, hopefully not, but I think, you know, it's, things seem like <coughs> they take turns in, in the record and... Yeah, um, and, and it feels like that in, in, in the record. I mean, sometimes the, the chords uh, and, and, and the strings are on the front, sometimes the band are on the front. And, yeah. I mean, it's it's that balance, I guess. I think so. Yeah. I think we were, we were kind of attempting to play with that idea. Yeah. Uh, it still feels sort of connected, I think, and it all... Yeah, like I said, I think it seems uh, um, appropriate. Hello, you was one of my favorite songs of of, of, of the of, of the album. Uh, I mean, the, 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 there's there's like I mean, I have several favorites, but uh, Hello is so. I want to ask about that that song and the, and the story behind it. That's one has been around. Probably the the longest out of all of them. We did a session in La Frette in 2019, mm. and that went yeah. to a version of that. And I think even there's actually some keyboard or something from that on the thing, thing that made that made it all the way through. But, um, yeah, but it like a lot of the songs on there. I suppose it kind of went through different versions of itself before it got to the one that, that yeah. exists. Yeah. So predictable, I know what maybe, you maybe it is too soon to ask this for uh, what what are the plans maybe for next year? I, I mean, you've been playing just festivals this year, you're going to Mexico City to play as well, uh, the festivals in Brazil, Peru, maybe we can see a proper tour of, of, of the Monkeys maybe for 2023, and maybe an, an, an album, I don't know, what, if, if you have some plans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just take a break. <laughs> we got the, we got the movie, and the yeah. album, and the thing. Uh, uh, we'll certainly be doing some touring for like the next, you know, for the foreseeable future. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. Hope to thank see you in Mexico soon, well, in, yeah. in, in, in a few weeks. Yeah, we'll uh, be there. Yeah. Well, that, that's coming up too. When when when's that going to be? November. November. Exactly. Photography tour and all that stuff. Yeah. Some, some mezcales and. Yeah. Yeah. Please just steal some tacos. Then. No. You're you know, whatever floats your boat. No, that's not stealing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I just missed misheard. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.